Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with corned beef and cabbage, the official meal of St. Patrick's Day. And why is that? It was chosen because it's a recipe you can cook drunk. So easy. So here we go. I got a four and a half, that's a big one, four and a half pound corned beef right from the supermarket. Take it out of the package, rinse it. I'm going to add some onions, some celery, some carrots in pretty big chunks. And you get the spices free. All right, and I like that little packet. It's pretty much what I was going to put in anyway. And it makes it, you know, magically delicious. So I'm going to add three quarts of cold water. And I'm using a nice big Dutch oven, so you might have to adjust the water a little for your own size pot. You want it to cover, for sure. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to bring that up to a simmer. And before I cover it, I'm going to skim the top for that foam. We call that corned beef scum. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to cover this. We're going to turn the heat to very low, very low. And we're going to simmer this for about three hours. It's not going to be totally done, but it's going to be almost done. And you can see here, it's almost fork tender. The fork will go in, but it's still kind of tough. And at this point, I'm going to add my potatoes. So I'm going to add large red potatoes that I just cut in half. And I'm going to cook that for another half hour. Now, while that's simmering uncovered, I'm going to cut up my cabbage. I have one small green cabbage. I'm going to cut it in eighths, which if you're drunk, that's quarters cut in half. All right, I'm going to put that on top. And I know they're not submerged, but that's okay. Because I'm going to cover this and cook it for another 20 minutes or so to a half hour until everything is tender. Potatoes are tender. Cabbage is tender. Meat also tender. All right, we're going to pull out the meat. It doesn't matter, St. Patrick's Day or not, drunk or not, meat has to rest before you slice it. All right, after the meat rested about 15 minutes, I'm going to cut off any large, large chunks of fat. Leave a little bit. Come on. I'm going to cut against the grain. I know you hear that all the time. Against the grain, against the grain. See, if you cut it with the grain, this is what happens. It just shreds. It looks ugly. Don't do that. Cut across those fibers. They'll just have a better texture. Serve it very simply. Fish out some potatoes, some cabbage, some carrots, and some celery little bit of that braising liquid on top. I serve it with a little hot mustard and rye bread. Man, what a great, great American tradition. For your information, corned beef and cabbage, not an authentic Irish dish invented in America. All right, and this is so easy to make. You can totally drink an entire six pack of Guinness or Harp in my case, and uh, make that very successfully. So give it a try, go to the site, get the ingredients. And as always, Enjoy.